What is going on, guys? Late night show with Wade's Ventures. Give me one second, guys. Let me um, get the chat pulled up here real quick. Okay, cool. All right. So I'm not expecting too many people to come, guys. Unscheduled late night show. But um, give me one second. Let me get this chat going. Uh, there we go. Cool. All right. Oh, you crazy people are joining anyways. What's going on, guys? Pac-Man, how are you? From the Philippines? Holy moly. What time is it over there? What's going on, Shane? Mr. Rise and Grind? How's it going, my man? So this is... I already have a thumbs down? Man, that's horrible. What's going on, Hip Flippin' Mama? How are you? I was just going to respond to your um, Instagram message. So I haven't even got into the jewelry yet. Hopefully, though, um, we can get into it. And definitely, I know you love the jewelry. So we'll, we'll make something happen. I promise. We'll make something happen. So anyways, guys, welcome in. So today, it's going to be a quick, quick video. I just wanted to um, first, what's on the agenda is talking about the event um, that's going to happen on February 23rd. So we're going to talk about that. And then also, um, I want to thank everybody for just being a part of the journey and, you know, loving all the love and all, all the amazing people that are following me. I've got 20,000 now. So it's been an incredible journey. So I want to talk a little bit about that. I know it's uh, 1030 Pacific Standard Time, and it is extremely late um, Eastern Standard Time. So but those of you who are watching this after the fact, um, it is live. So thank you. Thank you so much. I'm surprised you're still up, Pac-Man. Thank you so much, my man. Remember back when you were with me, I think you were with me back when I had 100 people following me. Isn't that crazy? That is nuts. Um, time has flown by. But uh, And Hip Flip and Mama, you were one of my top. I think, weren't you like the third interview I did? I can't remember. I had to go back. I had to go back. 1.30 a.m., yes, it is super, super late. It's 3 a.m., or 3 in the afternoon here in the Philippines. 1.30, got to make that money, I understand. Key Lime, what's up, Key Lime? You were definitely with me when I had 100 people um, on both Instagram and YouTube, and um, I appreciate you. You've always been amazing, and uh, you're such an artist. So, second interview, yes. You were my second interview, Hip Flip and Mama. All right, guys, so let's talk about this. There's not a lot of people here, but I want to make sure that everybody local knows what's going on. So um, basically on the 20 – I've done a lot in the reselling community. We've done over 100 interviews. Um, we've helped out a lot of people start their social media. And um, one of the things that I haven't done yet is do an event, guys. So I really wanted to do an event um, – and so basically, guys, I teamed up with Side Hustle Pros, great husband and wife team. You guys know them. And um, teamed up with them. And we rented out pretty much a big majority of a bowling alley in Beaverton, Oregon. So if you guys want to go to this event, it's in Beaverton, Oregon. Um, and it is half of a bowling alley, guys. It's all private to us. So it's going to be an eBay party. Amazon party, Poshmark party, resellers. You can bring as many people as you want. Um, it, the event is going to be on February 23rd, guys. Um, that's when the event is. And uh, you guys can all come. And um, really, it's going to be from four to eight. So it's a four-hour event. And um, it's just going to be a really cool time to kind of meet and get together and mingle and have a lot of fun. And um, the event costs three thousand dollars, guys. Um, and so what's happening was I wanted to try to keep the cost as low as possible. And so the event costs three thousand. We're expecting about seventy to eighty people. So I'm going to pay out of my own pocket about a thousand bucks, and then everybody else is only going to be charged twenty dollars. So um, basically, twenty bucks gets you bowling, shoes, pizza, food. It, the only thing it doesn't include is, is alcohol, guys. So if you want to go to this event, I'm going to put the link below. Um, this is the link that you would pay the $20. 
Um, if we did $3,000 divided by the amount of people that are going, it, sh it would be right around 40 bucks based on the amount of people with food. Um, but I'm paying a thousand bucks out of my pocket just so we can keep the cost a little bit lower guys. And so that is going to be February 23rd. Um, it's going to be four to eight. So if you're in California or like the Seattle area or Oregon or anywhere around here and you want to drive down here, um, I'll put the venue down here, the address. Um, I also put um, all the contact stuff you need down there, the dates, and then also the um, uh, the um, link as well. And I'll show you too. I was texting. Uh, I was texting here. Give me one second. <laughs> this is the. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, he put this together. So it's really really cool. <laughs> You guys don't have to bowl to go to this event, by the way. You don't have to bowl. Um, you don't have to be a good bowler to go to this event. Um, so if you want to go to the event, you can go. Um, yeah, it's, yeah. It's here's the thing: is like I have no problem fronting some money myself to keep the cost low. I know that you know if I were to put this event at forty bucks and cover it that way, um, less people would come, and I would rather have more people come. So. Um, it's going to be a great event. Um, all right. So now that we got that out of the way, now that we got that out of the way, yes. And if you guys want to come, if you want more information, you can text me or send me a, a message on Instagram. Um, you can bring your husband or your wife or anybody you want to this event. Um, and food is included. Shoes are included. Bowling's included. Um, if you look at my Instagram, let me... Let me actually pull it up and I'll show you a picture of the venue real quick and then we'll move on. Let's see. Give me one second, guys. And I'll get to, I know everybody's talking in the comments too, so I'll get that. All right. So, all right. Let me show you a picture. So this is the event um, that we're renting out the whole area there. And that's all going to be for us. So, um, it's going to be cool. And then those are all the tables. I don't know. You can't really see it yet, but we're going to, I'm going to try to have them do cosmic bowling too, guys. So we can do cosmic bowling and those are all the tables. And then we also get our private bar. Um, so yeah, so that's the event, February 23rd, bring your wife. Yes. Ashley is coming. Ashley is coming. Um, Yes. Any is anybody here coming? Does is anybody in chat? I know we only have forty five people because it's extremely late. But is anybody wanting to come? Um, let me know if anybody is in the Portland or Seattle or oh. So also uh, Katie and Vicky out of uh, Vegas are going to be flying down to come to this event too. So we're going to have Katie, Vicky, Side Hustle Pros, wife, husband, and wife, uh, and then we're also going to have. Um, Hopefully we can get the eBay team from Portland. They have an office in Portland. So we're going to try to get the eBay team actually there as well. Um, so that's pretty cool. Andre, you coming? You can bring the kids. Mr. Andre, I would love to come. Nice, Don. Nice. You don't have to be, you know, again, guys, this is not just an eBay event. So if you only saw on Amazon, you're welcome to come. You know, Poshmark, um, Macari, just a reseller in general, you can come. So I, I'm from Amsterdam. Oh my gosh. That is amazing. That is really, really cool. We're in PDX. Would love to come. That would be amazing. If you can come, it's going to be a great event. Um, we're going to have, uh, you know, side also pros and, and team, Chaz and, and, and they're, they're really good at Amazon, right? So if you guys have Amazon questions, you can, you can talk to them. Um, you know, if you have eBay, Poshmark, Macari, social media questions, you know, I can help you. Uh, I'm going to try to get reseller mom. She's really great at Amazon. See if she wants to go down there. Uh, and then also there's some great resellers locally, like search and reuse. I'm going to try to get him down there as well. Um, I want to – Jennifer from the Seattle area, reseller mom is from the Seattle area. We're only about three hours away. So if you want to come, you can come. Yes, anybody in Washington should definitely come. But, yeah, guys, it's 20 bucks. Um, again, I'll put the link below. Um, I wish I could make it free, 
but um, I can't pay 3000 out of my own pocket, but I can at least pay 1000 So um, I can try to, you know, help out a little bit with that cost. So mom is doing better. So she called me, actually the hosp grandma called me today and said that she was throwing up and having a lot of issues. And uh, so I called the hospital worried because I, I text her and she wasn't picking up her phone. And this was the day after her surgery and um, she was throwing up and wasn't doing too well. And then she texted me later and said she was doing fine. So um, those of you who don't know my mom, um, she got a, um, was it her right knee? Yeah, her right knee was replaced because it was corroded and really bad. And um, so she now she got her left knee replaced uh, two days ago. So um, hopefully she goes to a rehab center soon and um, she'll be there for 20 days and then she'll come home. And uh, so just finished what, yes, it was a really cool locker. Um, people criticized me because they're like, why didn't you say that was a Louis Vuitton purse? And I'm like, I can't sit there and tell you everything that's in the unit, guys. Um, sometimes I miss things. I'm human. So it is what it is. Um, yes, I'm going to try to get mom to come. Yes, I would love for mom, mom adventures to come. That would be amazing. Um, I'm going to get mom, Ashley, and I try to get as many people as I can to come. So bring your mom to the fair. Oh, just Mr. Pac-Man. He did not need to do that. I appreciate that. Um, as always, you've always been super supportive, guys. And if you notice over here, do you see that over there? I, I put this here because it's the best spot for it. Um, he actually packed oh, oh, Pac-Man got me this really amazing sign, guys. So it's going up here. But yes, yes, yes. Yes, that's true. That's true. All right, guys. Um, so anyways, we talked about the event um, on the 23rd. You know, anybody is welcome to come. Um, and please reach out to me if you have any questions. Um, again, it's you get food. It's all included. So bowling's all included. Shoes are all included. You don't need to bowl if you don't want to. You can, you know, we can kind of relax and and talk we don't have to bowl so if you guys are not bowlers don't feel obligated you don't have to bowl um and that is going to be uh it's going to be a really cool event guys so i'll put the link below and um and if you guys have any questions reach out to me uh the second part of this is twenty thousand people following me on on youtube now um it's been incredible um i started out my youtube journey doing interviews and we actually have some interviews next week. Um, we've got four interviews lined up next week. And those of you who don't know, Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, I interview really cool people around the community. I get nothing out of this other than satisfaction that I can help people build their social media. So um, anyway, so next week we're going to be back on the interview train. But yeah, I started YouTube channel. Thanks, Don. I started the YouTube channel. Um, you know, really had no idea it would get to where it is today. Um, did all the interviews, did over a hundred interviews. Hip Flip and Mama was one of those interviews. We got to get Pac-Man one of these days. Um, let me interview him. Um, but we've got so many cool people that we've interviewed. And, uh, and then it just bloomed from there. So I just want to say, bottom of my heart, whether you're watching this live, you're probably watching this recorded because this is a late night. I'm surprised any of you guys are still up. Um, but that being said, thank you so much guys for, for following me for, for, you know, interviews to how to videos to storage unit videos to just everything. Um, yes, 20,000 is a crazy, crazy number. Um, it's intense. And, and again, you know, you got to go into social media with all the right reasons, right? You don't want to think about the money. You just want to think about like, you know, basically whatever you're, trying to do whether it's like blogging documenting like do it for the fun because i gotta tell you it is work sometimes and um you gotta go into it just humbled and see what happens and those are the best youtubers that do well so um it, it's been crazy and i can't thank you guys enough um i should have probably done this during like regular hours we'd have more people in chat but i just couldn't wait any longer i just want to say thank you 
we'll pray for your mom. Yes. Um, she's my dad died when I was four. So she's my last parent, and I, I cherish mom a lot. So mom, if you're watching this, I love you so much. Um, I don't know if you're probably watching this or not, but if you are, um, airport in Portland. Nice. Yes. Portland airport is considered one of the better ones for sure. I appreciate that, Susie. Not all people love me, though. Not all people love me. We, If you guys don't know, um, we had a live show with the Bearded Picker, our Sunday show. I don't know if you guys were there. Was anybody at our Sunday show tonight uh, a few hours ago? Let me know in chat if any of you guys were in our Sunday show. But supposedly some people don't think it, it, it's um, – you were there, throw, throwback? By the way, that's an amazing name. Anyways, supposedly people don't think um, – oh, Pac, geez, a lot of you guys were there. Wow. Supposedly people were, were hating on me for the Patreon that we're starting up. And um, so long story short, Shane, um, Scott, and myself are starting a Patreon. We're basically – you know, normally a Patreon, you get one – person, whoever you're interested in, whether they're, they're in the reselling community or not. Um, with us, you're going to get three. So um, you're going to get three uh, three people. If you need help, you can reach out to us. And um, and people were, uh, there's a few, few people that were upset about that. And um, hey, everybody has a right to their own opinion. But um, it's, I can't do it on my own, guys. I can't, I don't want to do a Patreon on my own. It's just too much work. Like I wake up in the morning, I do stocks. And then I've got my eBay and then I've got storage units and, and then my daily eBay, you know, on Poshmark and all the other sites. Right. And then, um, family and two kids under two, I just don't have time to do it on my own. So we decided to team up and, uh, and do it. And there was some, some interesting, some interesting people, some interesting comments. So haters are going to hate. Yes, that's true. Um, I got some interesting comments on uh, on Scott's channel, but you, and and here's the thing, guys: is Scott is amazing, uh, Shane is amazing. These guys know what they're doing. Really cool people. And what better way to create something new is you know to pick an amazing team to do it with. So you guys, for one price, you will get all three of us if you want to do it. If you don't want to do it, that's perfectly fine. That's true, Key Lime. Yes. Um, Here's the thing, guys, is we are going to continue to help out as much as you as much as humanly possible, right? Um, you know, I'm I'm always gonna do the interviews. Um, I'm always gonna help out people. For the last year and a half, I've been helping out people. Of course, I'm gonna continue to do it. But um, you know, I think it, it'd be really cool to team up with two other people and create a small group where if you want to join Patreon and you want access to us. Um, not that you can't have access now, but if you need additional help, um, you can go through that way. And, um, you know, so. Yes, right now I'm listing everything by myself. So mom is out of commission. So I actually opened up a second or sorry, a third eBay store today, guys. Um, so I opened up another eBay store. This one's going to have pretty much all the electronics and that sort of thing. I kind of want to separate that from the clothing. So I've got one eBay store with 2,400 items and then one eBay store that I was, um, we're doing wholesale and that sort of thing. And then the third eBay store, which is going to be kind of our electronics and stuff too. So those people drink too much haterade. That is, look, I'm not hating on the people that have their own opinion. I mean, people can have their own opinion. Like it is what it is, right? Um, you know, it, it is what it is. Like I, you know, I, I don't make a ton on eBay, but, um, my 60 day right now is at 26,000. So that's not a 60 day at 26,000 is not a ton, but it's not bad. Right. Um, considering I have a lot more avenues for, for revenue. So, you know, call me whatever you want to call me. I just want to be surrounded by really cool people. And, um, so that's what it is. Um, Yes, and if you guys missed it, rewind it because we do have that um, really cool get together. I would love to uh, remember, guys. February twenty third. It's going to be amazing. I want everybody to be there, if possible. So, and if you cannot, 
I'm not saying this, but if you cannot pay the $20, please reach out to me. I don't want that to, to keep you from going to the events. I know some people have tight budgets, and um, so if you cannot pay the 20 then please reach out to me because I definitely want to make sure you can still come, okay? So don't make that a deal breaker. Um, yes, yes. I'm reading chat right now, guys, because there's more people that join. So what's going on, Lisa? How are you? You better be coming too. I know you're coming. Hello from Oregon. Yes, look, guys, be positive. If you notice that video that went viral, I had so many negative comments. And what do I do with negative comments? I like them. And I even thumbs up negative comments. I don't thumbs them down. I thumbs them up. Uh, because at the end of the day, I cannot let negativity in my life. Like I have two beautiful kids, under two, a beautiful wife. And more importantly, I have a beautiful following. Like people that follow me are amazing. So I don't have time for that. Eugene? I know you're from Eugene. You better be coming down from Eugene. I already got blocked from a room from Portland. <laughs> oh, booked. Booked a room. Okay. That's awesome. Nice, nice. Yes, yes. Anyways, guys, so I know there's more people coming. Um, I want to say thank you so much for just following me on all the social media, Instagram, YouTube, um, so many amazing people. Andre, you can't pay through there. Oh, my God. <laughs> Andre, my man. Okay, you're, you're paid. I'll consider that paid. Oh, my gosh. You're funny. You're hilarious. Hello, I'll come from Lincoln City. I love going to Lincoln City. I actually uh, crab and fish in Newport, Oregon. So I go by Lincoln City all the time. Love your videos. Thank you. Great guy. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I missed you guys. I haven't done a live show in a while. And, um, you know, after getting those hater aid comments, I decided to come on here and see if we can get some love. I need love from you guys because we all, we all need that sometimes, right? I needed, I need some love from my people. So plan to be there. Lake Oswego. That's not too far. Ooh, Lake Oswego is a nice area. That's a nice area. Um, I love Lake Oswego, by the way. It's, very expensive, but it's a very nice area. I don't have the link for Patreon yet, guys. Um, we're creating the page. We just kind of wanted to let everybody know about it. Um, look, if you don't want to join, I'm not going to push it. Um, but I can tell you that you've got three amazing people that are going to be a part of it. So um, I'm still learning just along with you guys, but I promise you I will do my best to help you with whatever you need. And if I can't help you, I'll find somebody that can. So um, it's going to be uh, probably the link will be up in another five days or so if you want to be a part of that Patreon. Uh, but if you need the link for the event, I'm going to put that after the show. So you'll have the link for the show, um, the event on the 23rd. So I'll put that below. Side Hustle Pros are amazing. Um, we chatted on the phone for a while. There's no better. Those of you who don't know, we live like 25 minutes from each other maybe 30 minutes, um, me and Side Hustle Pros. So, and that's one of my goals, guys. Probably in the next six months, I'm going to be getting my own warehouse. Um, I'll move everything out of the garage, and I'll get a warehouse because it's time. I'm getting, I'm getting low on room, guys. So I'm going to be getting a, a warehouse very shortly. Wade, you're my favorite YouTuber. Don't tell the others. I promise I will not tell the others. I appreciate that. I need this love, guys. I need this love. I appreciate it. Man, not one native comment. We did get three thumbs down, but hey, to those people that thumbs down me, I completely, I completely understand where you're coming from. You have your own, your own voice. So uh, let's see here. Okay, so we'll stay on for another 10 minutes or maybe 15 minutes. Do you guys have any questions? Um, Reselling questions, Amazon questions. Do you guys have any questions at all? Anything I can help you with? Negative comments. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I appreciate the thumbs up or the thumbs down, guys. So the haters just are jealous. I appreciate that. Look, I'm not drama. I hate drama. You'll never see drama on my channel. Simple as that. Um, I love everybody. Even the people that give me negative comments. Hey, listen. They have their own, they have a right to their own opinion. And 
They can say whatever they want. Can I email you again? Yes, please, please forward that email back over, Cherry Picker. I, I already reached out to you, though. I tried to get you on the channel. But, yeah, forward, forward it back. I would love to uh, love to see that. Lots of love from Florida. I used to work in Florida, Kelly, at Krabby Bill's Seafood back in the day. It's in uh, by Orlando, basically. So. Oh. How about tips on combining or combating shipping charges on eBay for action figures? So are you asking like a cheaper way to ship your action action figures? Is that what you're asking? Oh, okay. I think that purse was needs some cleaning inside. I could be wrong. But can you email me if you find if you guys find anything that you like through the storage units, uh, send me an email. I'll put my email down here. And um, so you guys can reach out to me, sure.com. Or you can email me here, um, whatever one you want. I do use the .com one more though. That yeah, pirate ship is good. A lot of people don't realize, but you can put like a shoe box in a, in a poly bag. I don't use a lot of pirate ships, so you'll want to talk to somebody who uses more of it, but that's a great way to go. Especially with shipping prices, they're getting expensive. Love the last video. Yes. Yeah, so if you guys watch, did any of you guys watch the antique storage unit video that I did? Um, if you did, um, a lot of people were like, I can't see what's in the boxes because we were trying to rush. So um, every day for the next week, we're going to be filming two videos, 30 minutes long. And I'm going to go through every single box and show you everything that's in that storage unit. So yes. We were doing the unboxing, guys, so. All right, so let me see if I missed any questions here. Chat is flying. Uh, okay, explain the ins and outs of multiple eBay store accounts. Okay. So if you're basically, long story short, what happens is, is when you have an account, um, an eBay account, you can have multiple accounts. You don't have to have just one account. Now, the only speculation, if you have another account, you have to use a different email. You can't use the same email for the main account as you can for the secondary account, right? So that's the only thing you need different is a new email. You can actually still use the same PayPal um, address to send the money and, and receive money. You just need a new email address. Um, so there's a lot of reasons why people do second accounts. One, because they kind of want to keep one private if they do wholesale and then one public if they do, you know, like shirts and random stuff like you see behind me there. Um, and other people like, they like to separate their inventory, you know, electronics or hard goods and then, you know, shirts, clothing, that sort of thing on the right hand side. So that's, that's a way to go. Um, I sell a lot of like active wear. I don't sell a lot of women's. Um, I do have women's, but I'm still learning a lot of the women's. So, um, that was one of the comments guys. He doesn't know women's clothes, clothing. I'm, I'm still trying to learn women's clothing. So, uh, but yeah. You know, that's kind of a, you know, a way you can go. Now, what can happen is, is they're going to link both accounts. So know that if you go on bad standing and your account gets suspended on the new account or the old account, they'll suspend both accounts. They're linked. And the the good thing about linking, though, is this is the fact that they're going to take one account that you've done really well, and they'll up the limit on the new account in most cases. So you don't have to go through kind of the, having a new account situation if you've already got an established eBay account. So there's a lot of reasons why you would want to have two eBay accounts. Um, I, I'm going to be doing three eBay accounts and it sounds a little much, but one of them won't have a lot of items on there. Now the only downfall too is you can only really have one account on your app at the time. So you either have to log in, log out of the app through your eBay, you know, different eBay accounts or you can carry two phones, um, or you can give one eBay account to your spouse. You can have one so you can get the notifications when they pop up. So uh, yes, yes, seriously, that vintage unit was crazy. Um, I'm gonna learn a lot. There's a lot I need to learn on that one. So any tips on how to make photographing process faster? I don't see how people can get so many pictures taken so fast for eBay. So I'm curious, what are you taking pictures of, right? Um, are you taking pictures of clothes? Are you using a mannequin? 
Are you flat lane? I'm curious. Tell me what you're taking pictures of. I think the you guys all seen the website, right? Did you guys see the website app that I recommended for pure white backgrounds? Um, I use the desktop version of that. So basically what I'll do to answer your question is I'll take all the pictures with my phone and then I'll come over to the computer. I'll airdrop all the pictures to my desktop computer. And then if they need whitening, I'll upload them to the site. I'll whiten them. And then I'll go ahead and upload it to Poshmark and eBay. And that's kind of the process of me taking pictures. So thanks thrifty love the storage unit videos thank you so much um literally they are fun to do you get tough crowd with the storage unit videos though people sometimes give you some interesting comments on those things but uh i do love them i'm gonna be adding a second hundred item store over the summer awesome a lot of people like two different stores too because they feel like if the algorithm is not favoring one having two, you'll get more sales, right? And I think that is true in some sense. I think more exposure is good. Another thing too, though, is you can't have the same item on both eBay stores, right? You can only have the, the same item on one eBay store. Um, so keep that in mind. You know, you can't really double dip. I guess you could if you took different pictures for each one, but I wouldn't do that if I were you. Um, so just know that, you know, but I think that Everybody says, well, be on multiple platforms. I think it's really important that if you're full time, you're on multiple platforms because if one is slow, the other one will pick up the slack. I think that's the same concept for having two eBay stores, right? So, <clears throat> yes, I, well, a lot of people, Sue, a lot of people use the app. I find it easier to use the desktop um, than the app. That's my personal opinion. Um, I don't understand what you mean. Are shipping fees to ship outside the U.S. bring still profits? I, can you elaborate on that a little bit? All right. Any other questions, guys? Crap! I didn't know ninety-five of you guys would be uh, would be up right now. It's crazy. Tell your mom she just does a great job with the camera. She does. I just gave her a hard time because one time she was filming the storage unit. Ten minutes went by and she, she didn't realize that the camera was was off. It was uh it turned off. So we were filming for 10 minutes and it wasn't even on. Um, so I always give her a hard time for that. Wade has turned me to the dark side. Guys, go check out Thrift Trader. Um uh, Jason's new storage unit video. He actually wore spy glasses. Uh, Jason, you can put out your link if you want to that video. Um, he wore spy glasses, and um, and it's really unique because you know not a lot of storage unit videos you see the actual process of them bidding. So I thought that was really cool. My wife is complaining. Got to spend time with her now. Yes, go spend time with your wife, my man. That's crazy. Yeah, my mom really gets into it. She loves the storage units. She loves treasure hunting. You know, that's kind of what storage units is. It's like a modern day treasure hunt, right? Um, you just never know what you're going to get. Wait, I thank you all for the time you do this. I really appreciate that, uh, Wilma. Um, guys, it's interesting. Like, I don't think people don't realize how hard it is to buy a storage unit to go through the boxes and film without knowing what's in them, right? Um, nobody knows every single item that's ever been made on the uh, on the planet Earth, right? And so when you're going through these storage units, it's nice because you can have the people watching it help you and tell you what's in these units. So, and again, guys, if you ever want to buy anything that's in the storage units, just email me and give me an give me an offer, and what we can do is a PayPal transaction, and I can ship it out to you. So. There's a lot of love for my mom. She is a fan favorite. Seriously, she's really cool. Better than TV, yes. Um, the one thing that you'll never find in my storage units is I never stage anything. You go in there, you're going to get what you get. Um, I Whether it's good or bad, I'm going to show you guys. And I've got some bad storage units. I've got some good ones. So, Yeah, I say wow a lot. Wow, guys. Um, what else, what other words do I say a lot? Yes. It's crazy. I need it. I'm trying not to say those words as much. Um, oh, she'll be back. 
I've got a, a video coming out tomorrow with her in it. Um, so mom will be back in that video, guys. We can play wow, uh, Wade's wild WoW drinking game. Yes. Are you also thrifting, Wade? No, heck, I'm thrifting a lot. Um, so I've got some of the, the largest thrift buys last year that you'll ever see. If you go on my Instagram, you kind of got to go a little bit back. Um, but I do a lot of thrifting. So I bought, what, 900 article, 900 women's of article, 900 uh, um, articles of women clothing, women's clothing at Ross um, last year. But I pop a lot of Ross tags back in the day. So, you know, I like, I like to thrift too. Good night. Good night, mama. I am a little sad you no longer say luscious. I will I will bring that word back for you, um, Key Lime, if you would like. I'll bring back the word luscious for sure. So, um, One thing I appreciate about you, Shane and Scott, is your effort on honesty. Hey, look, um, it is what it is, right? Like after tonight's show over on Scott's channel, our weekly show, there was some people giving us um, – hackle over the Patreon. And I'm like, look, this should be something that everybody, I'm not saying everybody wants, but this should be something everybody can appreciate because there's a lot of people out here that, that would like to just cut through everybody and get support when they need it. Right. And we're trying to do something cool because, you know, I've never seen three resellers for the, for one price before. Right. I think that's really cool. Like we could have each started our own Patreon separately, but instead we decided to do three together. So when you need support, you can go to all three of us or you can go just to one of us. And that's why we started it. So yeah, I was getting a lot of, a lot of people were giving me crap over that. And I was like, it is what it is. Right. I was thinking we need a drinking game for fortunes of reselling. Every time Shane says he used to work at target, for example, he doesn't. <laughs> hey, you want somebody that used to work for corporates, especially retail to be helping you because they have all the insight and they know how the process works. You know, I worked at Sears for like three years uh, back in the day. So just watch your video, the online storage unit, the bins. Yes. Can I ask how much you make on your units? So believe it or not, people don't realize this with my storage unit videos. When I film it and I upload the video, there's only like a day, maybe two days lag between the two, between that period. So that video that you guys saw of the, um, you know, um, the Louis uh, and, you know, the coach and all that, all that, that unit. We picked that unit up a few days ago. So I don't have anything listed in that unit. Just like the antique unit, it's still in boxes. I haven't listed one thing from that unit yet because that's only been like three days. So really there's not much in between when I actually go into the unit and film it to when I actually upload it to you guys. There's not, there's not much difference. There's not much time. So. Um, tch, tch, tch. yes, they are both really good at Amazon. I'm still a baby at Amazon. So if you have Amazon questions, I can help you out a little bit. Primarily though, it'd be them. Um, that doesn't, you know, necessarily say I can't help you, but Amazon, I'm, I'm still learning. So nope, I do live storage auctions. I would say half of my videos that you see, the newer videos are all definitely online. The older videos are live. Um, so I, I prefer live. I feel like you get better prices, live storage unit or storage auctions. Um, you know, when you go live or sorry, when you go online, excuse me, it's late guys. When you go online, people have like a week to think about bidding on the unit. I think the price is a lot higher when you go online. You know, that's just my opinion. What's going on chaos designs. How are you? Um, okay. So how long, how long have you been doing this? Is it really worth it? It seems like so much work. Not always the greatest payout. Now, are you talking about storage units or are you talking about YouTube or social media? What's going on? Hi from Oregon. Rewind the video. We have that cool event on the 23rd 
Um, <clears throat> it's 20 bucks, but all the food you can eat and it will be bowling and all that good stuff. So, all right. Seems overwhelming. <laughs> Again, you, uh, social media or uh, storage units because they both can get overwhelming. I've been doing storage units for a few years. Um, if you go back to my, you know, I really am kicking myself in the butt because I did about 80 of them before I actually started filming. Um, I really wish I would have started filming some of these storage units, you know, years ago before I, you know, but I didn't. So, um, but yeah, if you go back, I think my oldest storage unit video I have is like a, a, a year and like three months old. So, you know, I don't really have too many older ones on the channel because I just wasn't filming it at that time. My YouTube channel, you know, really has only been about a year and four months old. So let's go to work. Speak soon. All right. I'll see you later. Where do you go for online auctions? Kelly, great question. So there's a lot. There's bid 13. That's a good one. Um, there's storage treasures. <clears throat> uh, dot com. There's also storage auctions. Dot com. Those are three sites that I use. So, hmm, Camel Cash Net. Wow, that is incredible. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. My kids have even bluer eyes than I do. Um, what's your best find ever from a storage unit? Great question. I say this a lot, but my best storage unit was definitely the Nike unit. Um, ex Nike employee. In fact, if you look up there, you can't see, but there's a bunch of VHSs that I got from that unit. And I also got some VHSs that um, were back in the Jordan days. And it was, it was director's meetings. I still have not watched that footage. So it's actually labeled. You know, you guys want me to show you? All right. So. <clears throat> I have not looked into these yet. Um, so I bought the storage unit. He was a director for Nike back in the day, and it had, you know, a bunch of a bunch of Nike items in there, right? Um, and it also had this. So it's basically directors meetings, and I have senior senior management basically. And look at the date, guys. I have not watched this at all. It's it's um, pretty cool stuff. But I got a bunch of these VHSs that, um, you know, they use VHSs to, to film all their meetings. And um, so this thing could be worth a lot of money. It's a senior management monthly meeting, 8 14 92. So that was a pretty cool time for Nike, right? Uh, let's see. Any other questions, guys? I just want to come on here and kind of talk about the cool event that we have, um, the bowling event with Side Hustle Pros, and then also congratulate all of you guys for putting up with me up until 20,000 amazing people. So it's been incredible. What happened to that toy unit? We still have a lot of that stuff. In fact, I showed this tonight, but he was one of the items at that toy unit, and he sells for about 100 to 125 bucks. So, <clears throat> pretty cool. And he was out of the 20 unit. I just got to get him listed. Yeah, I don't see, Kelly, I don't see any reason why I couldn't. Um, you know, if Nike didn't want it, they can buy it. Right? Yeah. Wish I lived closer. 11 hours? That's not bad. Take a road trip and thrift all the way over here. Uh, for the event. Uh, <clears throat> now, nah, I don't know if I would convert them. I would just sell them as VHSs. But, I mean, who's who's going to stop it? You know, if I sell it, like, they could just copy it and then return it, right? Get their money back. So it's kind of an iffy situation. So, yeah, I'm selling on Amazon. In fact, I just sent a shipment in for 38 items. Um Let's see. Let me pull it up. Actually, you reminded me to see if it was being worked on or not. Let's see. Yeah, they haven't hit yet. <clears throat> I did a video on it, guys. It was the um, Starbucks coffee. 
And um, I sent in 38 of them. So uh, let's see. Do you have to pay to use dump or landfill? Um, so I have um, – I so two things. One, um, I do have waste management, which is kind of close to my house. It's about eight minutes away. Um, it's very expensive. It's $110. And then every, you know, they charge you every pound after that. So, um, but a lot of times I can, I can use um, my brother. I've done it before. He has a construction company and they do roofing and siding. And a lot of times he'll rent these big old tubs, right? These big old um, steel. Uh, they're from the, the, tra the trash company. I mean, they're massive, right? And that's where he throws all his debris and materials in. And I can use that. So he'll just tell me what location it is because they pay for the whole thing, whether it's half full or full, it's the same price, right? So I'll use that, dump all my stuff in. Congratulations for hitting 20K. Gosh, you did not need to do that, seriously. Um, save that money for the bowling events, but I really appreciate you. You've always been amazing. And I can't wait to hang out with you, not only at the event, but also Vegas, Lisa. I really appreciate that. You're amazing. You are amazing. I'm gonna give you a high five when I see you. So, <clears throat> can you explain the limits when it comes to how much you can sell on eBay? It's very interesting, Tony. Um, are you a new eBay seller? So, it, um, what happens basically is when you first start a new account, there's different categories. And believe it or not, eBay only allows you to, to uh, list a certain dollar amount when you first start out your eBay account, right? And um, so what I had to do when I first started out my eBay account was, I, it was funny. I listed, I think it was like five or six electronics. And then they stopped allowing me to list electronics. And I was like, what is going on here? Um, but for clothing, I was able to continue to list on clothing. I just was capped on electronics. It was very weird. So I had to, you just call basically eBay. They'll look over your selling history. And then they will then up your limits. Um, that's one way. Now, if you have a bigger eBay account, you can always reference that and link them together and they'll probably lift your, um, you know, your limits at that point. Um, but yeah, limits are there to protect the buyers because what will happen is, is if they gave right now, if you look at my eBay account, I can list up to a half a million. Um, I think, you know, the normal is like 150 to 300,000 or something. I can do a half a million, right? But can you imagine if I just sent up for eBay and I was able to list a half a million and I just put some bogus stuff on there. And, um, you know, it's just to protect the buyers. So if you need to up your limit, you know, call every month, they do evaluation automatically. But if you need to up your limit sooner than that call and they'll, um, you know, based on your selling history could up your limit at that point. Um, so you can list more. So I love Vegas. I love Vegas too, Tommy. Uh, yeah. You know, again, um, it all depends. Like there is a cap, right? You can't sell as much as you can't, as much as you want, Kelly. The problem or the, the issue here, though, is a lot of people don't hit that cap ever. <clears throat> so, yeah, good ratings, you know, good selling history. Um, I think you don't want a lot of cases open at the time. You know, if you have cases open, that means unresolved situations between you and the buyer. So there's a lot of factors that probably go into their, you know, consideration. Patriots or Rams? Uh-oh, you're going to get me in trouble here. You're going to get me in trouble. <clears throat> um, okay, do you guys want to hear my take on the Super Bowl? Because I do do sports betting, so. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah, it's, Kelly, you've been doing it since 2000. You probably have a half a million that you can list too. Yeah. Yes, Tony, if you want my advice... Even if you're not going to start eBay today, at least open your account today, okay? Open your account today, Get create, a, create your account. It takes literally five minutes. Um, that way your account, even though there's nothing listed, it shows that it's been open for a while. Open your account as soon as possible. <clears throat> All right, so, man, okay, guys, I'm going to get I'm going to get in trouble here, but I'll tell you my point of view, right? I would love the Rams to win. However, I don't think that they should win this game. And I'll tell you why. They've got a young coach, great quarterback, who they didn't think would be great, by the way. 
They've just got a really young, nice team, right? And I feel like they will definitely get to the Super Bowl, and they'll definitely win it eventually. But I feel like Brady, as much as we don't want to see another Brady Super Bowl, you cannot deny, you know, just how amazing he is. And um, I would not be sad to see him win one last one because I, I, I think this would be the last year that he would if he did. So, way of documenting your hard work is an inspiration to a lot of people. Congrats hitting twenty thousand. It'd be great to meet you and others at the gathering here's to a little reserve hey nathan seriously if you're going to the event don't do anything here i appreciate that my man more than you know um i can't wait to meet you i just want to have a great time like i just want to have a really cool time with really cool people in one location for four hours and um so that's that's my goal um i've never you know i've done a lot for the community the community's done even more for me and um, I would love nothing more than just to do an amazing. The one thing that's the one thing that's not on my resume as a reseller is to set up an event. And I picked no better person than the amazing people there, at Site Hustle Pros and team, to help me co-host this event. So, yeah, it's going to be a really cool event. I can't wait to meet you. Brady is the goat. Yeah, and here's the thing, guys: is you know, quarterbacks are getting protected more than ever right now, right? Um, the one thing you cannot deny about Brady is when he was growing up in the system, they were a lot more rough. I mean, they were a lot more rough, pretty much anything went and you cannot deny growing up in that system and still being great and able to play at this stage of the game is pretty phenomenal. So anyway, <clears throat> but yeah, I, I would assume that a lot of people are like, I'm tired of, I'm tired of the Patriots. I would rather see somebody different. Hey, I'm there with you, but. You know, I again, you cannot deny the guy. And plus, he had a laser in his eye. Did you guys know that? So they actually replayed it, and he had a laser in his eye. Like, you can see it from the replay. So somebody in the crowd was lasering his eyes while he was throwing that last pass, which is crazy, right? So. But, hey, if the Rams win, man. Um more power to him. But if I was Vegas, you know, if I was putting money down, it'd definitely be the experienced um, Patriots for sure. So if I were to put a thousand dollars down and be Patriots, I think experience is really going to win over here. So we'll see. Anyways, guys, any other questions, anything else you want to ask me um, reselling related or not? I would love to, I would love to answer those. Um, What's going on, Nevermore Antiques? Go Patriots. Go Patriots. KS Designs, Rams. Hey, I like I said, guys, whoever wins, whoever wins. It's going to be a good one. Why am I still awake? Obviously, you're not, Scott, because I texted you, and I still haven't got a text back. So, no, welcome in, my man. You should get some sleep. I know you and Shane are not feeling well. That's plain rude. <laughs> All right, guys, so no more questions. We're going to end it probably. Um, I just want to say reseller bowling night, February 23rd. Um, it's going to be from 4 to 8. Um, I'll put the um, link to join below, so make sure you join that. Um, looks like we have another question. Oh, it looks like it's for the beard. But... Um, Recommended good starter items to focus for FBA selling. If you're new to FBA, I'd highly everybody focuses on what they can't sell with, with Amazon, right? And I said it on tonight's show. I think it's really important that you find out what you can sell that you're not gated in uh, and then go after that. So when I first started, I sold a lot of home goods. Like, in fact, today I was scrolling through to see like if my Starbucks coffee was um, processed yet. And I was scrolling through there and about 80% of everything that I sold when my account was new was home goods. Um, so anyways, um, find out, focus on what you can sell. I would make a list if I were you. So I would make a list of stuff that you can sell for Amazon and then go to those stores and see if any of the stuff that you can sell is on clearance or discounted and buy that. And then kind of get your account established. Once you have your account established and you have like a certain dollar amount that you're selling, I'm assuming that, you know, it'd be easier to get ungated in other categories. 
Thanks, Greg. Appreciate that. It's been amazing. Seriously, I hit 20,000 last night at like 11 o'clock. So it was really cool. Uh, is that Florida Gator coat on the rack back there? You want me to show you? It's pretty epic. I'll show you. So this is pretty rare. But yeah, Florida Gators. But get this. New attacks. So, <clears throat> pretty nice, huh? And um, it's clean, too. It's really nice. So, I got gators in the back. Pretty cool. Do you have a P.O. box? I do have a P.O. box. Um, people send me stuff all the time, and then I do unboxings live show them live um, uh, how do you decide what to hang versus box very simple um, I love putting stuff in the clear bins because you can see how much is in there um, so that way if like for example that one right there is kind of like a little bit of room so I can basically pop the top off and I don't have to like before I had green bins and I didn't know I had to open up every single bin and so that was kind of a pain anyways um, Anything that is really like uh, big or bulky or, you know, takes up a lot of room, I'll hang. Because what will happen is like, for example, like Gator's Coat, if I put it in one of these bins, I don't want to be able to put a few more items in and then it'd be full. So I'd much rather hang that and then put like clothing, t-shirts, like pants, that sort of thing in the bins. And that's kind of how I would decide. If it's big and bulky and it can go on a hanger, I'll just hang it up. So anyways... Uh, blue eyed sir thank you you're more than welcome you're more than welcome uh tch -tch. i'd be interested <laughs> oh man alabama has a horrible football team guys i don't know i don't know um yeah so if you want to buy these bins um they're through ikea guys now a lot of people are like well i don't have an ikea near me you can go to ikea.com and you can purchase these bins from there and then they'll ship them to you um, there is probably better ones than these, but they're actually really good bins. And uh, yeah, so Ikea.com. And um, they're kind of spendy, though. They're like, man, they I paid four fifty, and then they charged $0.50 cents per little lid. So I think they're about 6 bucks each. Um, oh, ch -ch -ch. Krillin. <laughs> man, you're crazy. Krillin is amazing. Does Krillin, do you have a YouTube channel? I don't even know. Am I, do you have one? Uh, ch -ch -ch. Anyways, what is your shelving? It's actually from Home Depot, guys. So go to Home Depot. Yeah, you can actually get better shelving than this, but this shelving is 55 bucks. And um, yeah, I mean, I have a link for it if you guys want to click my link tree, but I, if I were you guys, I would just go to Home Depot and purchase it there. So, yeah, shelving is important, guys. Like, um, you've got to kind of figure out where you're putting it to. Like, originally, these were good, but now that I've had these, I kind of wish I had did the ones on casters so I can roll them around. Um, so, you know, I've changed this setup. 10 times or more, right? So you've got to kind of find the right setup for you. And um, this setup works great for me, um, you know, but you can get them on casters and you can push them all against the one side of the wall. So that way you have more room if you needed it. So just keep in mind. Now, if you have carpet though, you're going to want to use something like this because you're not going to be able to roll around those things on, on, on carpet. How did you hear about those Starbucks holiday cups? Very simple. I was going to buy diapers at Safeway, which is a grocery store, and um, I always go to the clearance. A lot of people overlook grocery store clearance. Um, a lot of people don't go to grocery store clearance. It's one of the first things I go to. Typically, grocery store clearance is all the way to the back of the store. And uh, for example, Safeway's clearance is the same area for every Safeway, and that's by the restroom area. That's where they're going to put all their clearance. So you find a lot of good stuff that's on clearance there. You do need to be careful though, because the expiration dates. So when you're going there, especially for Amazon, 
you know, you need to allow yourself about three months or more, right? So when you go there, make sure you're very aware of the expiration dates when you purchase it for Amazon. Um, but yeah, um, right by the restroom area, a lot of clearance um, in grocery stores. And like, for example, uh, I sold this hemp oil, like soap, and I got a bunch of that for a dollar and the stuff retailed for 23 bucks at uh, Fred Meyer's. So there's Fred Meyer's, Safeways, Alpersons is owned by the same company as Safeway. And that's where I got them, basically. I was going for diapers. I found them, and then I ran, got my camera, went to six other locations, got more, and then uh, that was it. So that was history. Mouse is about three months from being done. Dude, that is super exciting, Sue. That is awesome. Um, let's see. I'm going to do rows of shelving in the second half of my garage and shelving in the third bedroom. Ooh, you're going big. That is awesome. That is awesome. I would like to find another reseller in my area that I can trust to find a warehouse and split rent and space there. That's tough, Sam. Seriously. Um, I'll be getting a warehouse here in about six months. I think it's time. Um, and uh, I need a place where I can, you know, right now I've got a good situation going, but I don't really have a good prep area. I definitely don't have a good testing area. I would like, you know, the idea of, of how, you know, being, you know, running things smoothly is you want to have stages in your business, right? So you want to have an area where you can kind of process what you got, like out of the storage units, that would be grabbing stuff out, you know, then you kind of want to organize it. You got to have an area to clean it, photograph it, you know, um, store it. So there's stages in your business that you're going to want to have. And right now my stages are all over the house, right? Um, they're not, it's not perfect. Um, so that's kind of what I'm like trying to do is get a warehouse, not only for more room, but also so I can clearly have stages for my business and make things easier. Uh, but yeah, it's tough. Um, it's a tough position to be in. You want to get a warehouse, you want to split the rent, um, but you want to find a, um, somebody you can trust. So that's, it's, that's a tough situation to be in. Uh, let's see. And 57 here. Everybody's talking about the weather in chat right now, guys. That's exciting stuff. All right. All right. Can you sell expired food on eBay? That's a good question. I don't sell any food on eBay. That's a great question. Um, I know that a lot of people sell expired lotions, you know, and the thing is, is um, you've got to have it, you know, you've got to have it in the, in the condition you probably want to have it in the description. You also want to have a drop down menu in eBay, set the expiration date there. Cause you can, you guys know that in eBay, you can create your own drop downs. Um, and uh, so you probably want to have it there as well. I think if you set anything that was expired, you want to clearly have it in three different areas. So that way the buyer knows that they're getting an expired product. But yes, um, I've sold a lot of expired stuff on eBay. And I believe I've sold, I have sold expired food on eBay too. Now that I think about it, um, I sold um, like back in the day, they had these really cool um, uh, football um, uh, cereal cartons, you know, with different players on it. And that still had a lot of food in it. So that was expired. So yeah, you can't, I would just put it everywhere you possibly can. Uh, let's see. What do you ever look at shelving at? Costco before you bought the ones at Home Depot. I have looked at shelving at Costco. They actually have the big industrial shelving at Costco. They do a Home Depot too. Uh, it just depends on how much room you have. You know, when I get a warehouse, I'll definitely get the the, the more industrial size. They're a lot longer. Um, but no, I when I bought these, I went straight to Home Depot and bought them. So uh, let's see. Wait, do you toss to use makeup? No, I don't toss to use makeup at all. In fact, um, what I'll do is I'll lot up all the used makeup because when you buy storage units, you're going to get a lot of used makeup. Makeup, Christmas, adult items, you know, um, that sort of thing. You're going to get a lot of that stuff. And uh, used makeup, um, it depends what it is. Like MAC makeup, um, <clears throat> supposedly you can take three bottles of used MAC makeup to the Mac store and they'll give you one brand new bottle of lipstick. So that's the thing you can do. 
But what I do is I load it all up and I just put it on local Facebook Marketplace, and some some girl will come pick it all up. You know, I'll make a couple hundred bucks off the you just make up from that other unit. So uh, let's see. Yeah, you know, a lot of people just don't retail arbitrage from online. You know, online retail arbitrage, a lot of people like going to the stores and physically buying the product. Um, and that, I think if you were in your pastime and you didn't have a lot to do, you can find out what you're ungated in already and then just search those categories online and I bet you would find some website that's selling them pretty cheap. Um, of course, when you're buying them on Target, you probably got to be careful because I don't think they allow you to purchase like large sums of you know, inventory or, or quantity on there. But uh, anyway, well, let's see. Well, I think, I think there's, you know, expired food on eBay. As long as you list it, that it's expired. I mean, it is what it is, right? I don't sell food on eBay, but um, I know that a lot of people do sell expired food on eBay because it's not just the food. A lot of times you get like, you know, old cereal boxes that have the food left in it, right? The food's in there. It's expired. People are buying it for the cereal box or the memorabilia, but it's still expired food, right? So, oh my gosh, Noel, there's so many toys in that unit. It was incredible. There was so many toys. It was so many toys. So yeah, that was, that was crazy. Yes, thank you so much, Wilma. I've seen you commenting on my videos, and I appreciate every one of you guys that comment on my videos. I truly do. So, hey, I'm new to your channel. I love watching your videos. How's your mom doing? She is doing super good now. I was a little worried. I got a call from Grandma. said I need to call right away, and she was not picking up her phone. My mom wasn't, and I was like, holy crap. Like, I cannot lose my mom, you know? And uh, everything seemed to be fine. So it would wreck my world to lose her. So. All right. Well, 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 well. Um, guys, thank you. Thank you so much. I hope you understand that. Like, thank you so much for following me. Um, and even if you don't follow me, thank you. And if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, thank you for watching this. Um, thank you for all the support. This channel's been amazing. Um, I love every one of you guys. It's been cool. I love the interviews. We're going to do that next week. I love the storage unit videos. I love the how-to videos. I did a video on how to teach people how to ship hats if they want to do a first class and they, they don't have a lot, you know, at their house to ship hats with. So I love doing how-to videos. I love all this stuff, guys. And um, a lot of good things happening next year. Hopefully you guys stay tuned. Um, a lot of cool partnerships. Um, if you guys want to join the Patreon group between me and Scott, the Bearded Picker, and Shane, Rise and Grind. Um, I'll let you guys know where that you can get that link. Um, I'll put it in my link tree when we have it up. And then if you guys are in the Portland, Seattle, or California area, and you want to attend the event on the 23rd, February 23rd uh, is the event, guys. I want to give a shout-out to my buddy Andre. You guys see him, Andre Hunt, over there. He says, I need to get into how-to videos. Andre is the man. The guy makes 20K every 60 days selling from Goodwill bins, and that's it. So you guys go follow him. He's pretty cool on his YouTube channel, and he's local in Portland. But that being said, guys, thank you so much for joining tonight. Uh, thank you so much for following me. If you're watching this after the fact, big hugs, and um, I love you guys. Thanks for all the positivity. There's no negativity on this channel. There's no drama. You'll never see any of that. Um, so I appreciate all you guys, seriously. And, uh, it's a new year. I'm excited and thanks for coming tonight. Thanks for showing up super late. It's 12 o'clock here. It's 3 AM in most places. And we have almost 90 to hundred people watching at one point. So, all right, guys, big day, big day tomorrow is what Jason said. Have an amazing day. Have an amazing night. Thanks for joining and much love. See ya.